spray yourself like an insect if you want your makeup to last long welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is wendy if you're an og i love you if you're a subscriber i love you if you're new i also love you so stop panicking and please subscribe anyways get ready with me to go on a date with my husband today is my husband's birthday so let's take this man out on a date <laughs> i'm going to show you guys a uh, skincare routine makeup and then i'll bring you guys along for the whole date if you love such content please continue watching <laughs> First step of skincare is give this lip some moisture. I'm using this Correct Essential uh, ointment for my lips. I have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking this direction for my lips. And then next step is use this glycolic acid toner from the Ordinary tone i've already washed my face i've already showered i've already lotioned up so it's just skincare makeup and outfit my skin is doing really really well and i use like the cheapest product on the market i don't know if i call them cheap but to me they are really affordable i only use like the ordinary products CeraVe and Garnier which i think to me are the cheapest uh affordable uh workable <laughs> of course uh skincare product on the market so it's currently six uh six it's currently 4 18 we have the reservation at at 6 30 and uh i still have time i still have a lot of time to work with <laughs> the next thing i'm going to use is this uh Garnier vitamin c serum so in my hand Wrap it together. Then apply it. And it's really important to have a clean uh, base for your makeup so it can like glide smoothly. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Because I feel like for perfect makeup, you have to have like a really perfect base. The same way for building a house. You have to have like perfect foundation for your house to stand up straight. So I think the same theory works with makeup. And then I'm using this, the Ordinary uh, Hyaluronic Acid. As my next step, after the vitamin C serum, the same process. Just rub it in and then massage it on my face. Forget my neck. I don't want to look young on my face and then look wrinkly on my neck. <laughs> it cannot work like that. And then next, I'm using this Mad Masky Eye Serum, which is amazing. My under eyes have improved a lot, guys, since I started using this. This is actually a gift from my sister. She got this for me in 2021, I think, and I've had it till now. Like, the package... It's like literally full, guys. You know, like what happens in the market when they normally have like big pack packaging and then this entire space is just like air. But then you have this much product. That is not that with Mad Masky. It's like quite full. So it lasts you longer because it's also an eye serum. You just need like a dot to use it and see how my under eyes are not like dark anymore. Okay, they're dark, of course, because I'm black. <laughs> but uh it's not like this visibility that when you look yourself in the mirror it pisses you off so yeah and to finish it all up i'm using this CeraVe moisturizer i'm not going to use sunscreen because we leave the apartment when it's already dark so uh for a day routine after this CeraVe moisturizer i would go in with sunscreen which i also use from Garnier, which is amazing it doesn't leave like a white cast but because we'll leave apartment when it's dark outside there's no need of using sunscreen skincare done nice and clean ready for makeup <laughs> so i'm just going to let the skincare set a little before i use my primer for the makeup i just wanted to say like talk about a little about my husband it is birthday because i love him and i'm obsessed with him so i met him when i was 24 i just turned 24 and uh, he just turned 28 and now i've just turned 26 and uh he's turning 30 so Jacob, if you're watching this alex good to the boat start i love you so much and i can't wait to get rich so i can give to you your lamborghini kitchen <laughs> because i know how obsessed you are with cooking anyways after that i'm going to go in with this milk 
hydro primer this primer is amazing if you want your makeup to last long this primer they didn't come to play when they created this I'm using it's almost clear i need to buy it's almost clear why do i always mix german and english it's almost empty so i need to buy myself a new one because i'm struggling to pump it out get the product out massage it in especially my oily places where my makeup tends to move faster my t-zone of course my eyelids so my uh, eyeshadow can also stay longer they're not going to stay out too late so i'm not going to use a lot of primer i think this is going to be enough for the whole face feed after that i'm going in with this mac prep and prime uh eyeshadow base on my eyelids for my eyeshadow this is also some miracle worker guys this tiny thing cost me about 39 euros and it's the best most expensive makeup patches i've ever bought <laughs> the tiniest to be precise but i love it because there's one thing oops i hate about oh fuck something's, ah, something's in my eye oh my eyelash shit I need QP to take it off. I hate this stuff. Where was I? I was talking about these tiny patches. <laughs> I bought it most of all because, like, I do have smile lines here when you like you wear makeup, and then this is the first point of your makeup that creases. So that's why I like I mostly bought it, and it hides it perfectly. I can go like a whole night with makeup on, and it doesn't even move. But this was this is usually the first place that my makeup moves, so that's why. I sacrificed my bank account to get this tiny product from Mac <laughs> and it's my best ever purchase and once it's empty I'm going back for it I don't care if it's 70 euros I'm going to buy it again if it hides my smile lines but I feel like hyaluronic acid and good skincare also helps reduce it so anyways I need to stop talking continue doing my makeup <laughs> next step guys is brows I'm going to use my tiny brow pencil which is almost <laughs> done at this point and then with the brows pulley of course Comb them up. My brows are done. Next step is clean under them using uh, this mix. Can't stop, won't stop concealer. Just use dots for easier construction. <laughs> I don't know which word to use, but I normally use dots than just smudging it around so it's easy to clean under them. My brows today are far from sisters. They're not twins. They're normally not twins, but today I feel like they're even far from sisters. <laughs> I believe today they're more like cousins. Anywho, time is running out. We need to move forward and then use the same dots on top. To clean the upper part. I'm going to use the same concealer on my eyelids using this brush. Just dab the product in. Because I want a bright eyeshadow base, I'm going to use this e.l.f concealer as well I don't like its consistency though it's so 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 thick and it's so hard to to blend it's so hard to work with so but we use what we have until you get what you want <laughs> I'm already sweating oh my god I'm using this uh, Morphe palette. Dab, dab, dab. 
I think I was supposed to get my hair up in a ponytail. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. And then I normally say there's no get ready with me without alcohol. And guys, I've decided I need to reduce my alcohol intake. I drink way too much alcohol. <laughs> and I hate experiencing hangover. So there will be no get ready with me with alcohol. Maybe just once in a while, but not every time I get ready. <laughs> Because I've realized I'm consuming too much alcohol. I'm going to use a brighter shade on my crease. I'm tempted to do a winged liner today as well. So let's see how it will work out. I did a winged liner for the Jason Derulo concert and it worked out really well. So let's pray the makeup gods are with me today. So I can ace a winged liner. And then I'm going to use a shiny shade on my eyelids just to give my eyes some color. I think I'm using the wrong brush. That's why it's not working. Well, let me come back, guys. <laughs> guys, I've used this banana basic beach <laughs> uh, winged liner to line my this is how they look. I don't know if they're sisters, twins, or cousins, or distant relatives, but it's what you're working with today. So it's currently 4.42. I need to let my husband shower, guys. He's about to pop up here any minute, asking me if I'm done. So I need to hurry up. The next thing I'm using is uh, NYX foundation. And then mix it with MAC foundation. Two shades to get a perfect match. I'm going to set my face with this Makeup Revolution setting spray so my foundation can glide in easily. And then use my measurable foundation brush <laughs> to blend out the foundation. I don't think I'm going to contour today. I'm running out of time. And I should have worn my outfit first before makeup because how am I going to put on an almost pull neck top because it's so cold outside today. The weather is playing hide and seek with us apparently. It was so warm in the week and then today is just like so cold again. So I don't know what's up but there's nothing skimpy today. Today we are dressing up because it's cold. <laughs> Verse 10? Ah, nine, danke. I'm using this NYX concealer. Mm -hmm. I know how to blend it in. Just making sure, guys, because the mirror I'm using at the back is so far away i need like a closer mirror to see what i'm doing and also i wanted to clean under the the wing liner yep so perfect i'm not i don't want to do a lot today i don't know if i should contour or use bronzer something is in my eye again oh god um i think i'm going to use bronzer instead guys so i'm using this sleek contour kit to contour today instead of uh, I'm setting my under eyes using the oops Sasha Buttercup setting powder everywhere i put concealer i'm going to use the same lip uh liner i used on my eyebrows the brown pencil so i don't know if i should wear lip gloss or lipstick i think lip gloss and then i'm going to go in with this nyx butter gloss 
Mm. <laughs> do not do you've done your makeup and just like admiring yourself like this is just the work of my hands i know that's right <laughs> guys i need to stop being cocky and uh find a lip gloss go over the butter gloss with this uh lip oil we are getting to wendy pro max now I'm going to set my whole makeup using this leaf translucent powder. For my outfit, I'm just going to wear a top and jeans. I'm like, I don't know what to wear. It's so cold outside and everything I wear for dates are skimpy. So, <laughs> and today we are not doing skimpy because it's so cold. I'm going to use this essence, uh, mascara I also need to use my inhaler and literally hear myself wheezing <laughs> like a horse oh my god so this is some powerful shit guys look how amazing this mascara works that's why it's called the false lashes mascara because I'm not like wearing any falsies but my eyelashes I'm using the Revolution Spot Fix. Spray yourself like an insect if you want your makeup to last long. Wow. I'm going to let it sit in for a while and then I'm going to dress up and then come back as only Pro Max. <laughs> So I'm back as only Pro Max. <laughs> this is the top I'm wearing because we're working with the weather today. And I'm wearing jeans as well, high waist jeans. And I want to wear these earrings. These butterfly earrings, but I'm not sure how I feel about them. So let's try them on and see if they're working out with the outfit. Is it too much with a ponytail? I don't know, I feel like they would look better with uh, with my hair uh, worn down. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Are they pretty? My hair looks bomb, though. <laughs> I think I'm going to wear them. Let me gather my rings. Let the Avengers assemble. I'm coming back. My fingers. Hands are so dry. I'm using this Palmer's lotion to bring them back to life. <laughs> Before you wear my rings. I need cuticle oil. Before cuticle oil, before my hands get too oily, I'm going to just I'm going to wear my watch. So, cuticle oil. I'm using, I'm going to wear today on this finger. Like this. And then my engagement ring. I normally don't take off my, uh, my wedding band. But when I leave the apartment and add on jewelry, I add in my uh, engagement ring. And yeah, this is my whole outfit, guys. Have I achieved Wendy Pro Max? Winged eyeliner has worked out today. So that's a, a good plus for today. <laughs> it made quality is bomb. And this is my outfit. I'll show you guys my complete outfit at the elevator. So, and what am I forgetting? Uh, this is, uh, what do you call this? Weichpula in English, like the the fabric softener. I normally use it here in, in a spray bottle so I can always smell fresh. And then I'm going to go in with this uh YSL perfume. So and let me show you guys my outfit in a bit. So this is my outfit, guys. This is my complete look. I'm wearing kitten heels. 
and this is my date night outfit my bag is of course Ivalet's from my sister's brand and yeah <laughs> Are you ready, Hastos? Do you want to see in Malata again? Are you ready for date night? <laughs> this is the cutest bug that has ever existed in my closet. <laughs> Whoa, it shot so cool out. But, uh, ooh, this is so pretty. But the boy. <laughs> Ich mache ihm so einen Platz, oder? Ne? Okay, hier, like for an appetizer, we are drinking sparkling wine. Wendy loves it, apparently. And here, this is like the first course, it's the bread course with sourdough and focaccia and some nice homemade butter. Here we have Vitello Tonato, das ist um, veal with tuna ice cream. And then we also had oh. like a glass of wine. Which mm -hmm. wine was that? Here we have like a leek covered in nori with black garlic mayo and fried uh, zucchini blossoms. It's really nice. And here, Wendy's favorite, it was like pickled radish with show effect cauliflower soup poured over the top. Mm -hmm. She bribed the waiter so I could film, film it. <laughs> And then these are just the uh, besteck for the next round. The cutlery. <laughs> cutlery, yeah. And here we have Berlach risotto. That's like wild garlic. With like topinambur chips on top. Mm -hmm. This wasn't my favorite. This part is me like trying it. It was so filling and I felt like the mm -hmm. garlic was quite raw. So I didn't like it. Yeah. Washing it down with water, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this was also like not Wendy's favorite because Wendy likes pasta well cooked and this was like just homemade pasta with some bacon and some really egg and cheesy sauce. Mm -hmm. But this one, Wendy really liked, that's chicken with a date glaze and some um, bulgur wheat with spices and herbs on the side. Mm -hmm. And then this is me tasting it, guys. We had like an eight course meal, oder? Eight courses, yeah, yes. Eight Surprising courses. courses. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what you were getting. It's just like a surprise menu of eight things. So everything that we got was uh, an ebrasio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> courses were like a bit down for you. Oops. But that is just wieder... That is Wendy. This has woken me up. <laughs> Next course was oyster mushrooms and here with different sides because they remembered that Wendy doesn't like sesame, so Wendy got a different side than me. I got wakame, she got, I don't know what she got. Salad. I'm allowed Salad. to say something. Yeah. <laughs> and this is pipi break, guys, of course. They had like beautiful, beautiful washrooms and uh, they offered also some tampons inside, which I found so, so, so cool and pretty. So if you're in Vienna, please check them out. The restaurant is called... Uh, Creo? Creo. Creo restaurant. And yeah, they're really, really amazing. I love the fact that they had tampons in the bathroom. So, yep. <laughs> and here, final course dessert. We had like some chocolate cream, some ice cream, some poppy seed mousse with Wendy's favorite, some candied strawberries on top. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. It was like a plate for us two to share. And it was one of my favorite desserts mm. I've eaten since like I came to <laughs> to Austria. And then this is us toasting to which wine was that? That was uh, a wine, a sparkling wine called Grüne Veltliner from my hometown. Mm -hmm. And then this is a short a schnapps. Uh, schnapps, <laughs> apricot schnapps. <laughs> apricot schnapps, guys. This thing is so strong. One shot is enough to take an elephant down. And yeah, you don't shot it. It's just I know, like for you digestion. Need to enjoy this vibe. 
Wendy kommen Wendy always können. wants to shut I everything. <lacht> I'm drunk, <laughs> but happy, you know. I drank alcohol today. I know I'm, I'm like on sober Wendy mode, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> and we also ate, so that's fine. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't resist drinking, guys. And I'm going clubbing probably on Saturday with a friend of mine, but I haven't confirmed yet. But let's say, I feel like on Saturday when I go clubbing, I won't drink because I'm trying to get into sober Wendy mode. My husband is looking at me like, are you sure? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much Lordy, for watching my video. Have yourselves an amazing night, an amazing day or evening, whichever time you're watching this video. Till my next video, bye. <laughs>